morning's Health Watch, Dreams of Space. With NASA shutting down the space shuttle program, can you still say, I want to be an astronaut when I grow up? Well, we thought we'd ask the next generation, so we went to Huntsville, Alabama recently to meet a group of space campers who still have plenty of stars in their eyes. Um, this is Pat. We are going for AP APU pre-start. Uh, America's future space explorers. Hard at work on a summer's day. T-minus six minutes and counting. Eagerly playing the part of mission specialists. Orbiter, this is Capcom. Engineers. Yeah, we still have that leak. And yes, astronauts. Okay, so first thing we have to know, who wants to be an astronaut? Lucky for these kids, they can test all the possibilities here at Space Camp. Everything from building and launching rockets, to trying their hand at a spacewalk, to that otherworldly feeling of weightlessness. No matter how many times you do them, you never get tired of how they make your body go in all sorts of angles and all that. More than half a million have experienced Space Camp since its launch in 1982. It's nearly as old as the shuttle program, which was clearly its inspiration. Panel C2, AC, it should be on your keypad. From the moment you arrive on campus, the shuttle is everywhere. It's even part of the logo. So what happens when there is no more shuttle? Was there ever a moment when you thought, but that's what I wanted to do? How could they end this program? I mean, I was a little disappointed, but you know, uh, space is never going to stop being explored. People will be forced to come up with new technology, come up with new ways to explore space, and maybe that'll spark some creativity and we'll end up with um, new, improved, and even better ways than the shuttle to um, get what we want to get done. It's going to be the beginning of another way of getting there. Retired Navy captain and astronaut Robert Hoot Gibson has flown five shuttle missions. And I was in the very first space shuttle class in 1978. He's a regular visitor to space camp, and he's counting on these kids. Does it give you hope for the continuation of, of some sort of space program to see the excitement and the energy? It absolutely does, but you know, not, Erica, not just for the space program, for the idea of technology. I tell young people, Okay, maybe the space shuttle's going to stop flying. We are still going to need you to be astronauts in the future because we are always going to need astronauts. So don't give up on that dream. A message these campers hear loud and clear. High fives all around. That was awesome. You know, to a lot of people, space seems like such an abstract idea, you know, rockets and stars and all that type of stuff. But, you know, once you come here, you're like, oh, wow. There's all sorts of stuff that you can do in space. It's not just, Good. you know, astronauts. So flight director, where are you? Right here. You are the boss lady of the mission. Most of them probably won't get to be astronauts. They'll just get to be scientists. They'll just get to be physicists. They'll be astrophysicists. They'll be astronomers. They'll be engineers. It's just a life-changing event for them to come to space camp. As these campers watch Atlantis and the shuttle program, launch for the last time, they'll be listening a bit more closely and maybe even planning a future mission of their own. With all the changes going on, you know, programs ending, you know, new opportunities open up, you know, going to Mars and all that, you know, so it's really interesting to see where we're going to be headed next. A lot of positivity and excitement for the future among those kids. All 50 states have been represented at Space Camp, about 40 countries. So far, there has been one graduate of the Space Camp program, too, that's actually made it into space. Dottie Metcalf Lindenberger flew to the International Space Station on the shuttle Discovery last year, and she is serving as quite an inspiration for a lot of kids. Stay with us. We'll be right back. You're watching The Early Show on CBS. CBS Health Watch, sponsored by Advil. Make the switch to Advil now.